Okay. Videos are done. Editing is done. It's time to relax and play some Skyrim. Another video. Ah, oh, God, fucking damn. There's no rest for the fucking wicked with this channel. What is up, guys? And welcome back now to episode two of trying to make this deck good, season two. Uh, episode one. That kind of blew up out of nowhere. Uh, to the point where when I uploaded that. Two weeks ago now, uh, I was at 74 subscribers. That catapulted me to 80. That's insane. So, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. And thank you for just showing support for this coming back. I didn't expect that to happen so yeah that's that's insane it's really insane um yeah anyway what's happening with today's episode uh well i'm going to be showing you what i've acquired in terms of a physical deck and then i'm going to go over the two, you know, the past two weeks, how I feel about the deck, uh, and what I'm going to be doing, you know, moving forward now. Uh, so I will hop uh, into showing you the deck, what I have so far. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is what I have so far of the uh, physical Galaxy Eyes deck. And yes, as you can see, I did purchase from a good friend of mine um, a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ultimate Rare for 35 euro. Uh, so yeah, he hooked me up on this. So shout outs to him. His Instagram will of course be in the description below. If you ever wanted to buy cards off of him, he will hook you up. He he's a, he's really good. He's very reasonable. But yeah. Let's let's start off. So I have three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons. Two of them have the blue letters. Um, funny funny story. Uh, as you, you you would have seen all on last Friday, uh, I bought two of the Legendary Duelist Season Two boxes, uh, as well as I actually bought two uh, gold letter Galaxy Eyes. Um, Photon Dragons from this set. Uh, not expecting to actually pull two Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragons. So, yeah, that, that was fun. And the same goes with Photon Treasure. Because I pulled two and I bought three copies of a, fr of a French version. Yeah, French, uh, on card market. I really shouldn't have done that, but hey, I'm an idiot, so yeah. Uh, but the piece de piece de the restance, I can't say that right. One of the promos that I actually got was the Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. That not got yeah, Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon, not Soul Flare. The Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon. 
one of the two that I needed. So very happy with that. I also got the Galaxy Wizard and Galaxy Cleric in the post. And then once again, my mate hooking me up uh, sold me a Photon Orbital Seeker Air for seven quid. Um, so he hooked it up. So now I only need two more of these. So yeah, uh, I swapped, I kind of swapped uh, the hand trap around from Ghost Bell to Triple Ash because um, I don't have spare uh, Ghost Bells in there in my Unchained deck. And then the only two spells that I have is Rhoda and Monster Reborn. But the spells are going to take some, the, the ones that are going to take a while for me to actually get physically is uh, some of the spells, the Photon and Galaxy spells, as well as, you know, the Galaxy Soldiers, um, another two Orbital, and another Afterglow. But that's what I have for the main deck. For the extra deck, I already had a Cyber Dragon Nova and Infinity. My friend, once again, he he's he's really hooked it up. He helped me uh, with a few of the extra deck cards, being number 62, Galaxy Eyes, Prime Photon Dragon, Neo Galaxy Eyes, Photon Dragon, just my favorite looking one of Galaxy Eyes, Full Armor, Photon Dragon. I, I just think he looks cool. I, I, I don't know what it is, but I already owned two Union Carriers. I actually sold one. Uh, recently, and I already had two Galaxy Eyes Soul Flare Dragon. So that's essentially what I have so far of the extra deck and the main deck. So now it's time to head over to Dueling Book. Okay, so I forgot to uh, explain what's going to be happening moving forward now for this episode, now that I've shown you what I've acquired in terms of an actual physical deck. Um, well, you see, I'm going to have to, I, I wanted to stay away from like, you know, looking at combo videos or how to play videos of this deck because I wanted to learn it without those. But I'm going to need to because yet yeah, I can beat some of the uh, bots on YGO Pro. But essentially, it's just me click, oh, see what my opening hand is, click, 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 attack, click, click, attack, game, set, GG, no re. That's not fun. That's not something that I want this series to to be. So, yeah, that I'm going to have to look up uh, videos on that. So, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to see if I can emulate what I have learned in terms of solo builds. And then I'll build a side deck for uh, for the deck. Because I still haven't done that. Um, so yeah. Let's hop over onto Dueling Book now. And Okay, so here is the deck profile. So after watching uh, the video on learning more of how to play Galaxy Eyes... The deck is slightly being the, the main and extra deck has been slightly tweaked. As well as, as you can see now, Ash, Ash Blossom in the side. Uh, so the, the main deck now consists of uh, three Dia the, the Light Spirit. Simply because it's a non one once per turn extender. Uh, all I need to do is banish one light from my grave to bring her out. Uh, also, I'm playing Galactic Spiral Dragon because if I control two or more light monsters, I can basically special summon it from my hand in defense. But banish it when it leaves the field, but that doesn't really matter because it'll be used as a uh, overlay unit. Uh, excuse me, still rocking the one Galaxy Brave, the one Cleric, the two uh, Galaxy Knight, the three Galaxy Soldier, the one Wizard, the two Afterglow, um the three Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, the one Advancer, the Triple Orbital, the two Thrasher, and two Vanisher now. Uh, three Galaxy Expedition, which this card is 
expensive. Uh, one uh, trance, one monster reborn, uh, triple photon sanctuary. Again, this is expensive because this an expedition hasn't had many reprints. Uh, one rota, triple trade in, and triple tachyon transmigration. So uh, then, of course, you know for the extra deck, uh, one infinity, one nova, one felgrand. Uh, one Cypher Blade, one Full Armor, uh, Neo Galaxy as Photon Dragon, one Tachyon, uh, Hope Harbinger, number 62, number 90, uh, Star Leech Photon Blast Dragon, one Soul Fire, one uh, Union Carrier, it's just taking a second to load, uh, number 100 Numeron Dragon, and lastly, number 97. So that is it for the main deck. Um, I did record three test hands before this, so this comes, obviously is coming first, so enjoy the test hands, and then when we come back, I will build the... Uh, finish off building the side deck, you know, with Ash uh, it being in the side. So I will be right back. Okay, okay guys. So I'm going to be showing you three different test hands that I've done. This may be a little slow because I'm using a um, screen recording software. So this, yeah, this this hand, I don't think I, I still went with. Um, yeah, I scrapped that uh, and went for... A different hand because I don't think I could have really made any plays but this hand this hand looked very promising so I immediately activated trade in to send the uh, galaxy eyes to the grave drew the brave and another trade in uh, I made a slight mistake here by revealing the galaxy knight uh, so I fixed that to reveal the orbital and special from the galaxy brave uh, so I tr used trade in again to get rid of the galaxy knight only to draw into another Galaxy Knight. So I thought, okay, uh, well, I'll activate the Expedition to get the two tokens. And then link those into um, Union Carrier. So then I'll spend a normal summon, because uh, I hadn't done that yet, the Galaxy Knight. And then I'll use uh, Union Carrier to equip the Orbital. And then use Orbital's effect to send itself to the Grave. And uh, then I'll add... Afterglow Dragon to my hand, which, because I control two galaxies, I can special summon uh, that from my hand. Uh, so I can't use this at the moment because that's still level four. Uh, so I'm trying to think of what XC I want to go into. So I decided to go into Felgrand, knowing what Felgrand can do. So I'll detach the Afterglow. Um, Afterglow's effect will trigger, but I've also now negated the Galaxy Brave because uh, Falgrand has to de uh, to negate one face-up card on the field. So do that with Galaxy Brave. That will then uh, mean he goes back up to a rank uh, eight, level 8, which means I can now go in for a number 90 galaxy eyes photon lord and set the tachyon and that's essentially end board number one very good end board uh for like a first attempt only after watching a video one video on this so let's look at test hand number two and see how that goes so this is the opening hand uh as you can see so I immediately start by bringing out the Photon Vanisher, Advancer, then realizing I can special summon uh, the Galactic Spiral Dragon because I control two lights. So I immediately go once again into Union Carrier, Union Carrier equip Orbital, uh, Orbital to Grave to add the photon dragon send that for galaxy uh soldier i don't add another galaxy soldier i go for the afterglow 
And because I control a galaxy monster, I can special summon uh, Afterglow and then immediately link with, um, sorry, overlay with Galactic Spiral Dragon uh, into Felgrand and use uh, Felgrand's effect. Once again, detach the Afterglow, um, negate the Soldier effect, um, then use Afterglow to bring out photon dragon um and that's essentially it that's the only end board that i could make it also set the tachyon so it's not as strong as the first one but i think this next one uh, the last test hand it was truly truly amazing so this was my opening hand i special summoned the photon vanisher i normal summoned the cleric I immediately link those off into uh, Union Carrier, Union Carrier Equip Orbital, Orbital Effect to go to the Grave, to add the Galaxy Soldier, and I make, I make a small little mistake here, you know, thinking too far ahead, but I, I rectify it, so I bring out the Galaxy Soldier, send that to the Grave, um, Galaxy Soldier Effect to add afterglow and i use monster reborn to bring back uh the photon dragon and then i special summon the galaxy eyes afterglow and then i decide to link into uh number 97 and use its effect detaching the afterglow which actually gets me another galaxy eyes and then I go for um, I believe it's I bring out number 90 but overlay number 100 and then using number 100's effect detaching one material uh, to use its effect which means with the uh, rank 8 uh, plus 1 means that number 100 is due to its effect is at 9000 someone correct me if I'm wrong but this is a pretty good end board uh, especially have a 9000 attack on Numeron Dragon it's either 9000 or 8000 one or the other I don't know if it counts itself Um, but yeah that's essentially uh three test hands so i hope you enjoyed and uh let's get on to with the rest of the video okay so as you've seen i'm definitely getting better at uh the deck now compared to episode one which is a huge improvement let's not forget that but uh for the side deck um i think given the format that we're still in I think going trap heavy stun is the way to go, but I will definitely also need to add in go spell uh, because it it shuts down all a lot of the top contending meta decks at the moment. Um, so definitely adding that once again i do apologize for how slow this is um but it's it it's either this or i go back to filming off of my phone which would you guys rather so add those in simply you know because it's going to help actually search out the traps i'm sorry that i'm that i'm gone a little bit quiet it's just i'm waiting for you know this load before I talk some more and um, definitely after adding in the trap tra tra trick I am going to add in a triple uh, yeah triple TT triple uh, tarantula and then two to the transmigration prophecy and then one pack and then that's it that that should be a good um a 
good side deck for for this. And then, oh boy, I'm gonna have to try and remember how to spell this. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do because I am a dyslexic fuck. Uh, I am going to go onto my card market account because I bought two ultimate rares um, a little while ago uh, that I haven't received yet. Oh, and okay, so it's DB that's having having the issue. Okay, well, I'll of course add the add in the side deck after. Like once DB has stopped being a little bitch, um, but that is actually going to wrap up the video. So that's essentially episode two in a nutshell. It's just essentially now I've made some huge improvements to the deck. Uh, I've made improvements in myself with you know the end boards that we are able to make, and you know lastly. The side deck. We now have a side deck. So episode three is going to be doing some uh, more testing, and I might, I might bring something, somebody in for a little help in terms of testing, but I might do something different instead. So there's only one way to find out, and that's to come back in the next two weeks. By then, there I might actually have to update the deck yet again because by time. The next video comes out, uh, there will have been a ban list, or just about to be a ban list. One of the two. I don't know. We'll find out in two weeks. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the love and support. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, because that is where I post uh, mail video, uh, mail pictures, stuff that I got on the mail. Uh, and I will, oh, excuse me, I will see you Monday for another brand new video.